Hi guys, it's Melissa. Today I wanted to talk to you about birthday presents and specifically birthday gifts for young children, say preschool age and young elementary. We seemingly are in the circuit of birthday parties going on right now. And if you're like me, it feels very tiresome to have to keep on top of the birthday gifting, ordering things in advance, getting to the toy store. And to be honest, the children that we are friends with really have everything already. So I'm very much of the mind that a gift for a child can be something other than a toy. And today I wanted to talk to you about three different places where you might already be shopping, where you can easily pick up an unusual birthday gift for a child that is engaging, interesting, perhaps budget-minded, and also that, um, is a useful item. So if you're like a Montessori parent and you love like real life exploration, these things will be really interesting to you as well. The first gift that I wanted to mention that's great for a child that a lot of us forget is I think money is an excellent gift for a child. It is something that you already have. You can get really crisp bills or you can get coins. And in my family, I always received the number of dollars that was my age for that birthday. So this year, all our friends are turning four and often I'll put $4 in a birthday card for that child. It helps with counting. It's also great for just learning about money and talking about real life. So money is a great gift. Moving on to the grocery store, in this area, I wanted to talk to you, since I'm a lunch packing mom and I'm all about food and eating, I wanted to talk about putting together maybe an exotic fruit basket for a child that's really interesting. I couldn't find a dragon fruit today, but like a dragon fruit or, um, in this case, I got some guavas, passion fruit, kiwis, baby bananas that are the size of a little hand. This is something really fun that you could wrap up and gift to a child that would be a whole activity, and it also would add to their nutrition and learning about foods. If you are going to a child's birthday who loves the color purple, you could just do all purple foods. So you could do purple potatoes, purple grapes, cabbage, again, a passion fruit. These are little rambutan fruits. I call them the Elmo of the food world because they're like a little red furry guy. And here is a blood orange that's reddish purple inside. If you wanted to jazz this up, there are great books about food and eating and produce, like eating the alphabet. So this is something that you could easily pick up at a bookstore or order in advance that would go really nicely with a gift like this. I also think that giving flowers to children is really underrated. This is a beautiful hyacinth arrangement. These were $4.99 per bunch, so this is $10 of hyacinths. You could put them in a simple pickle jar or other inexpensive uh, jar. I like to tie a balloon onto a flower arrangement for a child, or if you wanna you know, be fancy, you could tie on the number of balloons of the birthday. So four balloons for a four-year-old. And this is, again, not something that's gonna be plastic clutter taking up space. It's very special to honor a child and it teaches like a learning conversation about what flowers are in season, or you could get the flowers that are in their favorite color. So this you could pick up at the grocery store, fruits here. This is a tea gift that I put together since in our family we love making tea together and our daughter is very aware of tea that she can have and tea that she can't have since we don't give her caffeine right now. At the grocery store today, I picked up a little tiny mint plant. I got a jar of honey and this one is really fun for a kid because it has the honeycomb in it and so there's learning about where honey comes from. We like to buy loose tea. This is a Jamaica tea. It is the flower from, um, from a, I'll think of the word. It is a flower that turns a bright pink when you steep it. And you can also include a little tea ball. You can include a vegetable peeler and some citrus. And you can just um, use the peeler to peel orange rind or lemon rind to make tea. So that's a lot of fun. If you have a bigger budget and wanna make it really special, you can add on a tea set, which every little girl and lots of little boys would love to have. And this has a really long life. It's not plastic. You can get them at some grocery stores or I pick them up at the thrift store. There's often brand new ones in a package and they make a wonderful uh, toy and imaginative play for a preschooler. 
if you are buying for some child who loves noodles, another thing I keep in my pantry are all different pasta shapes. So I bought a few that I wanted to share with you today. I love alphabet pasta, big tube shaped pastas, giant corkscrews if you can find them. I have stars, this looks like a little uh, screw, tiny elbows and wagon wheels. This in a gift bag with some pasta sauce would probably make most preschoolers really happy and it's not at all expensive. So again, if you wanna get an inexpensive gift, this is great, or you can add a check along with it. Regarding checks, I meant to tell you, um, if you are Jewish or you're gifting to a Jewish family, the, um, the word hi, which means life in Hebrew, has a numerological equivalent, which is the number 18. So gifting in increments of 18 is culturally traditional for Jewish families. So you could give a small gift and then $18 or $36 or $180 would be um, culturally appropriate and something to bear in mind. Moving on, I'd like to talk about the hardware store or garden center as another great place to pick up gifts for kids. Down below, I have a smaller setup of a flower pot activity for a child. This one is already planted with alpine strawberries. You can get a um, ceramic or terracotta planter or probably better to get a plastic version that's really lightweight. What I give normally is a plastic pot, a bag of potting soil, and usually a pony pack of a small plant like a strawberry. In cold months, you could do lettuces, or in the summer months, you could do a large pot with a tomato. And we like to give a sun gold tomato because they're really fast growing, they're really prolific, and they're really sweet tomatoes that children love. For those, I give also a tomato cage or some bamboo poles to support the plant. Here I have examples of seeds that I often just have in a drawer or in my garage. These are great to tuck in with a gift like this. A giant sunflower would be planted in the yard, or peas are the kind of vegetable that you can grow in a pot, and we even have some on our patio that we grow right now. Those are really satisfying for a child to just go out and graze off of their plant, eat fresh vegetables that they've grown themselves, and it's a wonderful way to encourage a child to get out in nature and get some fresh air. If you want to oomph this up, you can add on a child's watering can or a garden set with tools or child's garden gloves. Also available at your hardware store or garden center are things pertaining to birds and bird feeders. Here I have one that I've wrapped up already. We love to feed the birds in our yard and we have goldfinches, which are a little yellow bird that comes to um, our area of Southern California. Depending on where you live in the country, you may get a different type of bird feeder and seed. So you'll want to ask at the store what is really successful. This gift is great for parents. So the, the thing that I'm always going for when I give a gift is I wanna be thoughtful and practical and on budget, but I also want the parents to not be super annoyed by what I'm giving their child. So in this case, this is instant gratification. I have preloaded this bird feeder with seeds. I've also included a little wire hook in here that you can hang the bird feeder on and it hooks right onto your tree or onto like an S hook or uh, O ring that you can screw in on um, like an overhang of your house. And then I packed additional seeds. So this is such a wonderful long lasting gift for a child or a family or really anyone of any age. The bird feeder was just under $20. The hook was about $3, and the seed varies depending on what it is, but it's you know probably $5 for this bag. In addition, if you want to jazz up the gift or you're using a slightly bigger budget than this, you can add on for between $7 and $12 a bird guide. This is a great laminated one, and it talks about the birds that come to this feeder as well as other birds that live in our area. So again, it's like a really long-lasting gift that could last for years and that a family can have lots of conversations about. This is also sort of a destination in your yard, so if it's hard to pull your child away from the television, this is a great gift where you can say, let's go see what's eating at our bird feeder and it gets the kids outside, which I really love. I always do include information for the parents about what kind of seed it is and where to buy it so that if this 
does carry on for your family, you'll know where to replenish the seeds. We have a bird seed store where we live, and I just wanted to mention a few great books in case you are ordering books or shopping for a family that loves nature. This is a color book that features all different bird varieties, so it's really, again, a book that can grow with a child that has factual nature information. And I think children feel really empowered when they know the name of a bird. And my children have known the names of birds from a really young age because of wonderful learning uh, toys and books like this. An Egg is Quiet is another beautiful book that's been on a lot of book lists recently. It has all kinds of factual information and beautiful illustrations. So this is a book that will grow with a child and can be really nice for an older child. I also like to give books like this when I know there's other children in a family so that maybe an older sibling even gets in on the fun. Moving on, I'd love to tell you about items that you can get at the craft or fabric store. This is the third non-toy store, non-Amazon type of gift that you could pull together on the fly. Um, for those of you who've seen my other gift guides, you know that I love uh, felt. And if you're a friend of mine, you know I love felt and you may have received it. This is something that just requires a pair of sharp scissors and I keep a stack of felt in my craft closet uh, or with my children's craft supplies. In about 30 minutes, you can cut out a sandwich set like this one. It packs up, uh, forgive the pun, but it packs up easily in a sandwich baggie. And this is a set that my daughters love to play with. I just put a piece of black felt up on an easel that we already have. And they, you know, they'll spend 10 minutes at a time or a little longer sometimes making sandwiches, taking my sandwich order. And this is something you can take on an airplane or in the car. So it's a great gift for a child. Felt is super cheap, so I would say this gift costs $5 or less, but it's a quality imagination building uh, toy for a preschooler. If you are very crafty and have a sewing machine and fabric, I always have tons of fabric in my fabric closet and I've started making cloth napkins for friends' birthdays. This is a beautiful fabric for ballerinas or a ballerina or ballet lover. I've also made for boys with snake fabric or monster fabric. This took about an hour one evening when I did not have a birthday gift prepared for a child. And on the fly, I was able to make a set of napkins for the little boy. These are cloth napkins that go in with a lunch every day of the week. So I always give five or more napkins and it's eco-friendly. It can be tailored to the interests of the family. And if you can sew in a straight line or have a sewing machine, you could crank these out pretty fast and for the cost of a yard of fabric. So those are the ideas I really was compelled to share with you today because there's just so much angst and time and worry spent about gifting and birthdays and there's always one around the corner. So just bear in mind that when you are grocery shopping at the hardware or garden center or at the craft store or fabric store, there are very real world, useful, practical children's gifts everywhere you look. I hope you enjoyed these ideas and thank you for joining me today. Give me a thumbs up, a comment below, or hit subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thanks so much, bye-bye.